comments as well as on the forums, do these US spec models in fact have a gasoline particulate filter? So today I'm going to be covering that. All right, I know you guys have a lot of questions. Do these 718 Cayman GT4s and 718 Spiders actually have a gas particulate filter? Well, the short answer is yes. Long answer really is they do not for the US spec market. So I've been getting a lot of questions in my comments on my previous two videos, uh, as well as I've been seeing some questions on some of the forums. Do these US spec cars actually have a gas particulate filter? They have the same pipe as the European spec models, however, they do not actually have the matrix that goes on the inside of the filter that makes up the filter. What is this gas particulate filter anyway? The gas particulate filter is not really, uh, it, it, it's kind of like a second filter that's going to be in the exhaust system to help burn off any soot or hydrocarbons that are coming through the exhaust to help with any excessive carbon emissions. A lot of the European countries, they have to decrease their European carbon emissions by about tenfold. So as these little molecules are going to be coming through hydrocarbons, carbon dioxide, they're going to be coming through the exhaust system, they're going to hit this filter. The filter will actually trap the particles or the soot, and then uh, as soon as the car is in what we call a regeneration mode, which is when it'll actually burn off all that soot that it's captured, which is right around 600 degrees Celsius, so super hot. Uh, it'll actually uh, release and burn it off and it will turn into nitrogen, water, as well as some O2. So that'll, be, that'll make for a lot cleaner exit out the exhaust system than the cars that do not have it. So US spec models do not have it. They have the same pipe. They don't actually have the matrix or the part of the filter that's actually inside. So the reason Porsche did that is they were able to save a little bit of money instead of having to manufacture two different types uh, for the US spec models as well as European market cars. I'm gonna be posting uh, just a little diagram. Porsche does say that this has a particular filter inside. However, it does not. If you're actually looking at the parts in our parts catalog, it'll show it has a particular filter. It has the canister, which I'm showing you right now. However, it does not actually have the stuff that makes up the filter. So, great news. Now, as far as the sound, sound still sounds great. It's not going to sound uh, that much less raspy than the last generation. It does sound a little bit less, but it still sounds great. I know there's been a lot of questions. Does the car still sound fantastic? As I'm sure you guys heard on that first startup video, the car still sounds great. That was a cold start. So, the car sounds fantastic. Now, I really appreciate you guys' support. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video than I'm going to be used to be doing uh, as far as all my videos previously and on the weeks to come. I'm just going to be answering any of your guys' questions, uh, as well as just kind of doing reviews, as well as some comparisons. Now, as I'm reaching 100 subscribers, which I'm really excited about, that's going to be coming up here on YouTube, uh, I will be having a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me, my link to my Instagram account will be down below. Uh, I will be making a post here in the coming weeks as I get close to uh, 100 subscribers. Got some really cool Porsche stuff for you guys. Actually, be part of the giveaway. If you want to like the post, share the post to five friends, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, that is what will, what will enter you to be part of my giveaway. Uh, I will be probably mentioning it on my next video as well as on my next Instagram post, but it will be ran through Instagram, but you'll just have to do those several set of steps to be part of the giveaway, and then I'll be sending out some videos. I'll show you guys what those are uh, in next week's video. As always, if you guys uh, really enjoyed this video, if you could please like and subscribe. It's going to be down there in the corner if you're on desktop version or just down in the folder below the video if you're on mobile. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.